Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, today we're just going to be going over some of my finds in the last two days. Um, I found some amazing pieces and I just, I'm doing these videos separate from the hunt, the, the hunts so that um, you can get a better, uh, closer look at what I found. Um, but before we get started, um, I really appreciate everyone for taking the time to check out my videos. But you know what would be even better? If you could take a few seconds and go ahead and click that like button. And if you're liking the content, go ahead and take a subscription to my page. So that way you stay updated every time I upload a video. That will be super awesome. Thank you. Okay, so first off, I figured this would be the easiest piece. I had to unbox this pretty early. Um, because I was just so excited. We have three Jokers, the criminal Joker. This is my first real Joker. I mean, I have about three other Jokers. I've got White Knight Joker, I've got Red Hood, and I have the Death in the Family Joker from the DC Direct line. But I would say this is like my first, you know, whole Joker. Um, I li I'm liking him so far. He stands pretty well. The, the clothing is pretty nice. I know that people are kind of getting sick of this particular... Uh, mold because they're they seem to be reusing it a lot for other figures like the new upcoming death um death uh of the family i believe death of the family joker the one where he's removed his face to prove a point to batman but um i really do like him so far the facial scopes is let me see if i can get in there super detailed and he looks just absolutely menacing all right so when i saw this one i was just like yes please um, I had recently seen the movie only a few days before I found this and it was like it was fated to be I think but uh, we have reanimator Herbert West check it out I mean it is just absolutely spot on to the actor and the accessories are so accurate there's the other doctor in the film that tries to steal his work can't remember his name but uh, when I saw this I absolutely had to grab it the accessories are just so nice. Uh, you can see another ring light. Yeah, check it out. Really good. You could really make a cool diorama out of this. That probably wouldn't require that much effort. Um, uh, in the film, like the the lab was kind of gray, or you can make a dungeon in his basement. Actually, a lot of this took place in the basement when he did the decapitation. So yeah, really like this one. The cloth figures, retro figures, I think are becoming some of my favorite pieces. Um, uh, maybe this guy will get an ultimate release too eventually with uh, maybe some of the other characters, which will be nice. Alright, and now, this one may be a little bit more mundane, but I found a flight stand. You wouldn't be, you'd be surprised how hard these are to find in store. Um, sometimes you, they're plentiful, sometimes you, they're nowhere in sight, but I realized like, hey... Um, I kind of need one of these because I've got a lot of figures that could probably do some really neat poses in the air. So I want to play with this and do some toy photography with this. So I thought this was definitely a good buy. Alright, and getting on to some of the better pieces that really <laughs> I was just blown away by. And I couldn't believe I found them in the wild. I found a Ripley. I found a Ripley in a Target, and I had been looking for one for a long time. When I went to the uh, the Toy Con the other day, they had a Ripley in her in her uh, more work attire jumpsuit from the '79 movie, but it was like 75 bucks. I paid 26 dollars for this at a Target. I couldn't believe it, and the box was absolutely pristine. And her facial, if you look at her facial sculpt, it is spot on to Sigourney Weaver. I mean, it is absolutely spot on to her um this is an absolute win i can't believe i found this this is like oh this is a high watermark for me in the overall find so what's a sigourney weaver without a nemesis right so at the same target i also found big chap i cannot believe i found him either this one i think is slowly starting to roll out Let's see if you can take a look. You can get the ring light. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, he comes with some nice accessories. He comes with a face hugger and the egg, uh, along with the base for the egg. And you actually have, you look here, you actually have the alien as a baby, which is super nice. They really loaded this one to the gills with accessories. And the detail on the actual xenomorph 
is absolutely stonking crazy. I mean, the translucency of the head. I mean, with the right lighting, you could really take some amazing shots. And they actually did, if you look on the back, they took some really great shots. See, yeah. I mean, this is, I can't wait to open this up. I mean, the diorama possibilities are crazy. I mean, I, I'm sure people have already probably taken advantage of these, but this is also my first alien, or xenomorph, I should say, um, purchase. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. All right, and one other piece that I found that I wasn't expecting to find, and I didn't even know it actually existed um, until I just happened to be in a crud. A Graham Cracker Comics, which is a uh, comics line, comic book store line, um, they have stores. I think they're one of the largest, if not the largest, comic book chain in the United States, apparently. Um, but I was just in the store and I was looking around. And I looked up and I'm like, "What's that?" And I found. Check it out: the Shape of Water, the Amphibian Man from the movie. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even know this thing existed. It is absolutely a beautiful piece. And the accessories that it comes with. He comes with like a base uh, where he's kind of chained to it from the film, if you can remember. He comes with his favorite food, which are eggs. A kind of a grimacing stare. I mean, the detail on this. And the body is also pretty translucent, too. So if you had the right lighting, I mean, it would really make his skin appear a uh, very fish-like. Um, but... You got the two arm accessories, you can see the chains at the bottom. I don't even know if those are real chains. They could be plastic, but I'm not sure. And then some additional, I guess, gill pieces, for, uh, maybe, for his gills. But this is an amazing piece, and I really do like the movie. I went to theaters to see it, and it almost brought tears to my eyes, I remember. Such a good movie, and uh, Guillermo del Toro, of course, is like, he's really up there for me. He's one of the, the most visionary uh, directors, and I really do hope that... Um, eventually someone tells him to go direct a gargoyles movie because i mean he would just bring it he would bring such justice to the source material and i i would totally be down for him to do a live action gargoyles film let me know down in the comments um if you guys would love to see a uh guillermo del toro directed gargoyles movie wouldn't that be awesome or also really special to me because i do really like this franchise and i know it's very niche but in the 90s, these uh, figures were super hot, or this particular property, I should say, was super hot. Not these exact figures, but I when I found these for the price, I found them on GameStop sale they had the other day on collectibles, and I paid maybe like under 17 for one and maybe 25 for another. So I was just like, yes, <laughs> it was it was a great find. But anyway, just to get to it, I found both packs of the Puppet Master. Check it out. You got Blade, you got Torch, he's got a flame accessory which is really nice, and Blade's got an additional face sculpt, and you've got the, uh, the Andre Toulon, if you see the, uh, the puppet box from the film. These boxes are absolutely some of the best I think I've ever seen for any type of uh, packaging for a property. They really knocked it out of the park. We are supposed to also be getting some more of these um, down the line. Hopefully, we get the Leech Woman. Hopefully, we also get Six Shooter uh, and then also Jester. And maybe they can package it with um, another puppet. Um, maybe Toulon. Maybe they can put a, a Cloth Toulon with the Jester. That will be awesome. Uh, maybe even the Mass Toulon when he's kind of like the mummified, brought back from the life Toulon. That will be super cool. Hopefully, NECA gets on that because there's rumors that there's a possibility that they will do that. And then finally, we have Tunneler and my boy Pinhead. Look at that. Absolutely awesome detail on them. In the right lighting, I've seen shots where Pinhead's uh, uh, sweater actually really does resemble cloth. And as you can see, he has the uh, poker, fire poker from the first film, and then he has the wrench from the third film, which is super cool. And then he comes with two additional fists, and then Tunneler is absolutely stacked with accessories. You get the, uh, the revitalization potion from uh, Puppet Master 2. You get his pickaxe, I believe that came later. Uh, I think maybe the, one of the later films, I can't remember which one it was, maybe I haven't seen that one yet. 
Um, you get an additional head sculpt with the blood, <laughs> and then these uh, the actual drill bit actually spins on these, which is pretty nice. I mean, you have to like manually spin them, but they do spin. And then you get the hooks from part three when he hooked up that Nazi, and then an additional uh, hen, and then you get a grease gun, which is really well detailed, um, really well detailed. So I am super excited about these. Uh, I don't even know if I want to take them out of the box. I really don't. They look perfect the way they are. They really do. <laughs> all right, so that is pretty much everything. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm gonna try to keep the keep the content regular as regular as I can. Um, but um, again, if you all finished at this point of the video, I really appreciate it. Please take the time to like and comment on the video and if you like the content please subscribe let me know what I can do to improve the videos I'm learning more and more every day about how to improve the content so if you all could be so kind as to like the video and subscribe and also share if you can with uh, other people that may be interested in collecting um, yeah so thank you all for viewing I should have more videos coming very soon uh, and you all enjoy the rest of your Saturday take care